Good evening, everybody! Jason here from Calgary, Alberta, Canada, streaming on Treaty 7 land, home of the Blackfoot Confederacy, the Sutini Nation, and the Stony Dakota Nation, along with the Métis Nation of Alberta Region 3. Welcome back to Raid the Arcade, New Game Plus. This is a stream for Extra Life, the 24-hour gaming marathon that's part of the Children's Miracle Network. Do you want to play games in the old kids? Go to www.extra-life.org. There you can sign up for free and start collecting pledges from your friends, family, and co-workers. They all go towards your local children's hospital, and then you get to play games for 24 hours. Game day this year is this Saturday, November 2nd, but fundraising goes all year round. X-Tribe started over 15 years ago and has since raised over $130 million for children's hospitals across Canada and the U.S. And over $11 million was raised in 2023 alone, all raised by gamers just like you. I'm playing games to help raise money and awareness for the Alberta Children's Hospital. Excuse me, here in Calgary that helps over 100,000 sick and injured children each year. they have been part of x for 12 years now. It's a great way to have a lot of fun by doing a lot of good. And you can donate in the links below, or my pin post on Twitter, Facebook, Blue Sky, Mastodon, and Threads. Wow, it's so separated these days. Oh, well, In 2023, over $183,000 was raised for the Alberta Children's Hospital through Extra Life, and it's all done by gamers across Alberta and all over the world. You can also join in the fun and help out because kids can't wait. And now by giving back, you can game on. If you are one of the first 1,000 X-Life Platinum participants to raise $2,000 US in 2024, you will unlock your very own custom X-Life controller for the console of your choice, courtesy of our friends over at Controller Chaos. These controllers will go fast, so get your fundraising going now. So if you'd like to learn more about Extra Life or would like to sign up yourself, go to www.extra-life.org. Okay, it's Monday night, 10 o'clock, time to party. Okay, well, thanks again for tuning in for tonight's installment of Raid the Arcade New Game Plus, and thank you very much to the Bertrand family, I know who you are, uh, for the generous donation to my X-Life campaign this morning. Uh, yeah, I was I was off the air. In fact, I was at work when the donation came through, so uh, so no annoying Yuffie alert for you. Uh, but again, thank you so much for your support that all goes towards the Alberta Children's Hospital so they can continue their life-saving work all year round. Uh, but tonight, I'm continuing my playthrough of Final Fantasy 16. So let's just dive right back on in. Oh, and also if Kevin is watching, thanks for the follow. Okay, so here we are in Critton Hollow. Okay, so then, so then the, the, the quest that we're going through right now is called Nobody's Tool. And according to the journal for this one, let's just refresh my memory. That's right. It's because Doris has asked Clive to accompany her to the prison of Balmung Dark, where she believes an acquaintance of hers might be interned. And now we're going to search the East Wing. And now I think a very big bad monster is going to appear somewhere at this point. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm not going to walk into the arena at this point. Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, I'm just going to... I'm just going to walk around and see if there's any stuff that needs to be... Survivor. She sounds close. Okay, let's... Uh, yep, there's something else that that'll need to snag and grab. How it works. I think that the jailers were feeding bearers uh, to, to, the, to the big beastie they've got here. So, so they're they're gonna get what's coming to them. Who are you? There's no need to be afraid. Are you alone? Are there any other survivors? Some of the guards. They're still here. But something's wrong with them. 
was eaten by the monster. Of course they were. Thank the Founder. It was worth our coming. But I'd rather we didn't linger. Are you ready? Ready when you are. You poor thing. He must have been terrified. Did... did... sent you? What? He fought the monster. Distracted it so I could run away. He must have sent you. He promised to free the others too. Where is he? He opened your sound, didn't he? He wouldn't be here otherwise. Chadwick. Was that? Monster's back! Chadwick, help! We have to get out of here. Doris, keep the girl safe. All right. You put that bearer-eating bastard in the ground. I'll look after the girl. You teach that thing a lesson. You're safe now. We won't let it hurt you. Oh, man. That guy looks big. That guy looks... That guy looks big. That guy looks freaking big. Yeah, I'm I, I'm going to save. I am actually going to save. Say, say what you will about save scumming, but there are times like this when it actually comes in pretty darn handy. It's out there waiting for me. I can't let it live. Not if it's got a taste for bearers. I right, just go in all casual like. Oh, is this is some sort of Nectar's raids? Oh, oh man. Okay, here we go. Man, this guy means business. Just keep hitting it. That was a fancy move. Oh, who had staggered Little Rip? Gotta keep healing, gotta keep healing. Uh, 
Yeah, how you like that? Okay, we almost got a stagger. Keep it up. It's over. Notorious Mark slain. And that's how we do it downtown. Oh, Behemoth Shackle. Well, it certainly is to stop kings and emperors from throughout history from trying, every attempt to tame Behemoth has invariably ended in tragic failure. Or rather, it had, until the kingdom of Walu discovered a means to influence the beast's primitive mind in the form of an enchanted shackle that presumably works similarly to crystal fetters without impeding ethereal channeling. Finally. Sid, are you hurt? You should see the other guy. I'm fine. I think. <gasps> no. What is it? A diary. I gave it to Chadwick before we went our separate ways. He was here. Do you think that creature? I'm sure he fought bravely to the last. The girl is safe thanks to him. Chadwick. You fool. Come on. We have to get her back to the hideaway. We don't want his sacrifice to have been in vain. No. Of course not. I'll see that she's looked after from now on. It's the least I can do. Meanwhile, back at the ranch. From what I hear, you've barely left the girl's side in days. I hope she's recovering from her ordeal. She is. Slowly, but surely. She's far tougher than she looks. I thank the flames we found her. If we hadn't... I know. But we did. I'm sorry we weren't able to save Chadwick. There's no need to apologize. Without your help, I would never have found out what happened to him. How he fought to the bitter end to save her. To save Heide Marie. That's the man I remember. The man I thought of as a brother. I wish I could have met him. I'd like to hear more about your past. If you don't mind, that is. Of course. You already met my former master. She trained Chadwick and I to do two things. Kill and obey. We were supposed to be sold to the highest bidder when the time came. But no bid was ever high enough to convince her to part with us. For years, we were her daggers in the shadows. But we could never quite shake our doubts about the things she made us do. And then, one day, we just couldn't do them anymore. So we escaped. But staying together was out of the question. They would have found us too easily. After so many years of training, the pull to serve was always strong. It scared me to think he might have taken another master, become a dagger in someone else's hand. But even in captivity, the battles he fought were his own. And he died not as someone's tool, but as a hero. Heide Marie is proof of that. Bearers can cast off their shackles. And the curse breakers will show them how. I'll fight until my dying breath to see it done. For Chadwick, 
and for all of us. Thank you, Doris. We'll be counting on you. Okay, it's 10.15 here in Calgary, so you're watching me play Final Fantasy 16 as part of Raid the Arcade New Game Plus. This is a stream for Extra Life, the 24-hour gaming marathon that's part of the Children's Miracle Network. Do you want to play games in Neil Kids? Go to www.extra-life.org. Oh, a new missive has been delivered to my quarters. Oh, and I think Nectar has got another name for the hit list. Okay, what do you got for me, buddy? Who's got to die? Okay, oh yeah, we already took care of that one, the Kuza Beast. A monster born in Belmung Dark, and quite possibly the deadliest beast known to man. Sid, we beg you to slay it, not only that the world might be a safer place, but that the bearers who lost their lives to that vile creature might be at last be avenged. Forgive our presumption, but knowing what we what we do of it, we doubt that any but you could emerge from its cage alive. Okay, well, this is it. There's one last one here on the hunt board. Described only as the Masterless Marauder. The Waluder army captured such beasts and tried to train them to serve, but this particular specimen's training has long since ceased. Whether its captors turned to Kashik with the rest of their comrades or were eaten by their pet when it broke free from its bonds, we shall never know. All we do know is that there are none left alive who knows the words to put an end to its rampage. Only a show of force will suffice. Okay, and it's an S-rank bark, so ha, this one's going to be a tough one. Okay, so just let me just uh, just pause right here, uh, just to uh, just to quickly uh, look up uh, handy dandy guide. I'll be back in a moment. Okay, according to the map, uh, let's see, the Masterless Marauder Hunt is located after completing the side quest. And let's see, it's located in northern Vid Vid <laughs> Vid Grace in Walud. So let's just take a look here. Okay, yeah, this looks like the one. Here, let's see. So then according to the map, oh, there's a... Well, there's another quest to, to do around here. Oh, I can take care of this one while I'm here. So then if i reading the map right, the great biggest bat of them all will be somewhere right around here. Okay, well. Well, let's take this guy on. Although I've got a funny feeling this guy will be so big and so bad I could probably see him from a mile away. <laughs> oh, and I'll bet that's them. Yep, that's got to be them. Okay. Okay, save time. Oh yeah, that looks pretty big. That guy looks really, really frickin' big. You're big, I fought bigger! Oh, 
Oh jeez, gotta keep jumping. One shot me? Oh, you almost one shot at me. Feeling it to stash. I could stash up on tom tonics first. I sure do take a licking. Can't see what I'm doing. Too close. Get out of the way, the circle of swirling vortex of death! This guy's Sephiroth level strong.
We did it! Did we do it? Ha ha! And big old double ugly is down for the count. And another Beemoth Shackle and some Orichalcum. So much for you, I toggle. Uh, yeah, good boy, good boy. Fetch. Yeah, you deserve a treat. <laughs> oh, oh man, that now that was a fight. <laughs> okay, let's make. Let me see. Let's make our. Let's see. What's this next quest of that? That's here. Litany of Errors. Journey to the Conservatory. Okay. Let's. Let's see. Let's ride in style. Let's. Let's shake that all off. Slip right past any of these bad guys around here. You all saw it. They jumped me up from out of nowhere. Okay, let's see. Where is the... Oh, man. I think I'm... <laughs> I think I'm taking the wrong way. Okay, let's just... I think we just gotta hug this wall until we actually get there. Well, actually, it's coming up at 10.30 here in Calgary, so this is actually a good place for a station break. So, you're watching me play Final Fantasy 16 as part of Raid the Arcade, New Game Plus. This is a stream for Extra Life, the 24-hour gaming marathon that's part of the Children's Miracle Network. Do you want to play games and heal kids? Go to www.extra-life.org. There you can sign up for free and start collecting pledges from your friends, family, and co-workers. And they all go towards your local children's hospital. Then you get to play games for 24 hours. Game day this year is November 2nd, this Saturday, but fundraising goes all year round. X-Life started over 15 years ago, and it's since raised over $130 million for children's hospitals across Canada and the U.S., and over $11 million was raised in 2023 alone, all raised by gamers just like you. I'm playing games to help raise money and awareness for the Alberta Children's Hospital here in Calgary that helps over 100,000 sick and injured children each year. I've been part of Exercise for 12 years now, and it's a great way to have a lot of fun by doing a lot of good. And you can donate in the links below or my pinned posts on Twitter, Facebook, Blue Sky, Mastodon, and Threads. In 2023, over $183,000 was raised for the Alberta Children's Hospital through Extra Life, and it was all done by gamers across Alberta and all over the world. You can also join in the fun and help out because kids can't wait. And now by giving back, you can game on. If you're one of the first 1,000 X-Life Platinum participants to raise $2,000 US in 2024, you will unlock your very own custom X-Life controller for the console of your choice, courtesy of friends over at Controller Chaos. These controllers will go fast, so get your fundraising going now. So if you'd like to learn more about Extra Life, or if you'd like to sign up yourself, go to www.extra-life.org. Or if you'd like to donate to my fundraising campaign to help the kids at the Alberta Children's Hospital, I just dropped my link in Twitch chat. Every dollar helps, every share helps. 
Okay, now let's get right back into the action with Final Fantasy 16 right here on Raid the Arcade New Game Plus. But first, this word from X Drive Canada. Why I Extra Life? I Extra Life to make a difference. Through Extra Life, we're able to bring in thousands upon thousands of dollars for our hospital foundation. When we raise money for the kids, like our champion kid, Nico, we're able to make a difference in their lives by being able to have a facility where they're able to get the treatment they need in our own province. You sign up online, you pick the hospital you're gonna support, raise money for family, friends, neighbors, coworkers, etc., and then play games. You can go to extra-life.org for all the information you need to sign up and start doing Extra Life yourself. It's just fun to do it. It's, you can build such a community with friends, like some of my lifelong friends I've met through Shark United and stuff like that. Whether you're doing big production or a small little game night at your house, there's so many options and so many ways to do it that it's accessible to everyone. It's a great community. Everyone's in it for the same reason. They're all playing in support of kids' health or playing games for kids that may not be able to. It doesn't matter if you fundraise $10, 100 or 1000 Every dollar really does help. You don't have to be the most hardcore of gamers to get involved. If playing games is something you enjoy doing, and it's something that you're already doing, Extra Life is the way to take it, embrace that fun, and do something more than what you could do yourself. Be proactive, jump at it through Facebook, through extra-life.org. Reach out to your local hospital, they'll know more. Hop onto the Extra Life Discord, find local gamers. If your hospital doesn't have a guild, get out there, form one, and just keep going. And we're back with Final Fantasy 16 right here on Raid the Arcade New Game Plus. Okay, so let's see. So we need to search the conservatory for the registry. Now it looks like this will be the place to start again. And it could be anywhere, so leave no stone unturned. Uh, conditioning schedule. Today's exercises will consist of the press yard, 20 sandbags for such duration as instructor shall dictate, the furnace, burn intensity to be gradually increased, and live combat, 1 to 3 hellhounds depending on performance. Conditioning. This is nothing short of torture. Uh, bad back conservatory writ of incorporation the kingdom of Lalud hereby incorporates this institution wherein juvenile bearers are to be granted the opportunity to give themselves in service to the state as soldiers trainees succumbing to the crystal's curse or otherwise perishing are to be disposed of with all haste the graveyard is strictly reserved for the uncursed bearer disposal within by its bounds is punishable by death disposed of herman wasn't exaggerating it's a wonder he survived this place I need to find that registry. I've recently learned that my own daughter was among the children turned to stone by the brutal training I subjected them to. I had not th so much a thought of her since handing her over to the authorities as a babe, but inquiries with the military confirmed it. It was her. I've been torturing my own flesh and blood, and now I see her everywhere. Today one of the children smiled at me in the hope of receiving a few scraps of my table. It was her smile. The bearer she inher the smile she inherited from her mother. The mother I killed for giving birth to a bearer. Their ghosts have all come back to haunt me. My daughters, my wives, all of them, all those children, so many have died at my hand. I can bear the guilt no longer. And so I've decided that tomorrow I too must die. It will be the last order I give those poor wretches. The last torment I subject them to. I will command them to tear me limb from limb and enter my accursed corpse beneath the white tree whose 
crooked hands reach to the sky in supplication, and beside me my shame, my curse, the record of all their names, all those I have wronged. This reads like a suicide note. Did the director go through with his plan? There's only one way to find out. Okay, that looks like a pretty forky white tree to me. Badback Conservatory, Registry of Bearer Losses. Hans, 10 years old, lithification. Albert, 9 years old, succumb to conditioning. Franz, 12 years old, lithification. Paulina, 10 years old, em emanciation. Okay, next day. Bruno, 11 years old, disciplined for attempted flight. 12 years old, disciplined for attempted flight. Reinhard, 9 years old, succumb to conditioning, succumb to conditioning, lithification, emanciation, then nothing afterwards. So many names. This place was a slaughterhouse. And where is the architect of all this misery? <laughs> it was only a matter of time, I suppose. This place is cursed. Not so big and bad, are you now? Even though you still got your big gun, huh, buddy? Mental note. Do not stay near that guy when he's firing his gun. Oh, forgot he was staggered. Got some more crafting material. Nice. I'm done here. Let's get the registry back to Herman. 
Okay, any other quests in this part of the game world? Uh, yeah, there's... Oh, there's one over here. We're searching for a wild wyvern. Uh, actually, let's... Let's head back home first. Rest up. Restock! I hear that you traveled to Ash, Sid. Did you by any chance recover the names of my fallen friends? I did. Yes. A concise and disturbingly detailed record of bearer orphan deaths at the Badback Conservatory. If I may, the bearer registry. The director was a brutal man. He got no worse than he deserved. The registry was all I found beneath the tree. There was no sign of a body. Nor any record of what happened to the children after the orphanage closed. I pray that at least some of them survived. All their names are here. The ones we lost. My friends. My light in those dark times. I can still remember their faces, like it was yesterday. Children who were taken from their bunks in the morning, never to return. No explanation ever offered. They'd be happy to know that you survived, Herman. But why did I make it out alive, when so many others died in that awful place? It's not your fault. And blaming yourself won't bring them back. Honor their memory. See that their names live on. That way, at least. They're never truly gone. Thank you, Sid. I'm going to write a book. An account of the horrors of Badbach. And the spirit of those its custodians sought to crush. All of Valisthea will know of our suffering. And in the name of those I lost, I will not let it happen again. Neither will I. These records would have been buried for all eternity, were it not for you. <laughs> Thank you. And an accessory to reduce my inspiring school down time by 1.2 seconds. I'll take that. The realm will hear of Badbach. And I pray that the tale of my fallen friends will spare future generations the horror we endured. Thank you for helping keep their memory alive. Okay, Herman, I'll leave you with your thoughts then. Okay, it's coming up at a quarter to 11 here in Calgary, so you watch me play Final Fantasy 16 as part of Raid the Arcade New Game Plus. This is a stream for Extra Life, the 24-hour gaming marathon that's part of the Children's Miracle Network. Do you want to play games and heal kids? Go to www.extra-life.org. Okay, looks like I've got some... Uh, new stuff in my chambers as well, so... But in the meantime, let's talk to Nectar. Uh, yep, that's it. Every single mark has been slain. Okay, looks like uh, looks like there's nothing else else to say about that. So what? I what? I killed all those monsters, and that's all you got to do? Just 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 hang there? Ugh. Whatevs.
Clive. Here to say your goodbyes, are you? So now then. For now, but you better come back or fly up there and drag you home by your ear. Thank you, Karen. Didn't think you'd find the thought appealing. Look, just don't die, all right? A change of leadership's bad for business. Ah, you're off to kill a god. So what? You've done everything else you put your mind to, haven't you? You can do this too. Coin purse weighing you down. It'd better all be here. You're rubbing me blind, you know. Yeah, who bets I'll put, who bets I'll probably find a whole bunch more tonics uh, uh, up there in Origin when I'm damn finally facing off the big bad. Okay, so let's see. Let's see. Is there anything here that I could sell? Crafting, 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 crafting. Oh, valuable can be traded for Jagil. You got it? I reckon I can find a buyer. Uh, Amber, a bright orange gem, its edges word smooth by countless years of pounding in the surf. Lapidaries will pay a hefty sum for large specimens free of impurities, but is it impure examples, namely those of which insects, lizards, and fairies are entombed, that command the highest prices, mostly among scholars and the occasional mad alchemist? Jurassic Park reference. Come again. Oh, don't. I'm not much bothered either way. Okay, let's see if we can get some new gear. Yeah. Crack the crystal. Kill a god, save the world. Miss anything? No, that's pretty much the plan. Not a very good one. If you ask me. But then? I can't say I've had much practice killing gods. Now, forging kit to kill a god? That I might be able to help you with. Reckon's least I can do, after all you've given us. And it's more than enough. You can thank me when you get back. What'd you want? Okay, so let's see. Yeah, do I have enough materials now in order to get some of the best gear? Dark steel. Oh, I still need some dark steel in order to get this really, really big sword. Huh. I need to take it from a notorious mark, but I've killed them all! Let's see. See if there's anything anything better around here or something that I can do. Okay, I'm gonna okay, uh, so that I can get the Cutter Damarung sword, I'm actually gonna take a look around, see if there's any any more places in Darksteel. I'm gonna look that up once I'm once I'm done. But let's see, anything that I can enhance here. Yeah, it looks like I've already got all the best gear Anything here. So. Else? Okay, let's okay, let's go see what's in my chambers. Uh, hope I didn't miss something along the way. My Lord Marquis, I wish to thank a right to thank you for the kind consideration you have shown for those whose names are written within the pages of the Book of Martyrs. I know that it would move them deeply to know that the first shield of the Phoenix laments their passing. Though each and every member of our order stands ready to sacrifice their lives in service of the Phoenix, I do not doubt those who are taken before their time go with regret for the long years of duty left undone. That they should live on in the memory of a proud son of House Rossfield such as yourself shall surely go some way to soothing their sorrows. Mean a phoenix's flame burn ever in your heart, Cyril, bearer of the burning quill. Okay, let's take a look at some. Okay, let's take a look at the new treasures that I got here. Uh, Claire signboard. Yep. 
picked up almost all the me mementos as well. Okay, let's go talk to Tomes first and just see if I can update my explorer cred. Hey, want to hear about me killing a lot more people? Or monsters? Or both? Knowledge hoarded is knowledge lost. I don't believe you've read this particular chapter before. You wish to study the tomes? Well, every little bit You're helps. Always welcome, Clive. You all right? Something troubling you? Uh, no more than usual. It's just... Edda's baby will be coming soon, and I wanted to make something for it. I'm sure she'd like that. Back in the north, families would always make gifts when a bairn was on the way. Yeah, I let the little tykes know they were welcome in their new homes, like. So, what's the problem? The problem is that Ed is due any day now. I don't know if I'll be ready in time. Is there anything I can do to help? Hmm. You know, there just might be. All right, then. What exactly are we making? A good luck charm. But not just any good luck charm. Not just any. No. One made from the feather of a silver chocobo. There's not lucky in all the realm, or so we used to say back home anyway. Thing is, uh, they're hard to come by. Had Otto and Karen check with their suppliers, but nothing. I'd try and track one down myself, only... Only the big day is fast approaching. And that's all you need, a feather. That or the bird whose arse it's attached to, aye. I was gonna start by asking around with traveling traders plying the northern borders. Well, there's no shortage of those passing through Martha's. I think I might make that my first port of call. I'll let you know if I find anything. You're a good friend, Clive. I won't forget this. Can't say I've ever seen a silver chocobo myself, but I have seen one of their feathers. Look just like a normal one, only silver, obviously. Well, grey. Okay, let me see. I'm just going to, uh, going to quick, uh, quickly uh, check out something over here first. Let's check out the reports. Anything catch your eye? Okay, looks like there is still some renown for uh, for me to do there. Imperial province, the Mechian Republic. Yep, there's still some renown to do there. And Kingdom of Ludud. Okay, looks like I do also do have some quests uh, to do here as part of the uh, Alliant reports. Think you can help. Welcome to the Patron's Whisper. Is everything we've received and everything promised? Hasn't been delivered yet, I'm afraid. Yeah, still need to up my renown by a fair bit. There, Sid. Okay, let's talk to Joshua about this letter that he said he received. Joshua, I read your message. You're right. Jill is different. I don't think I'd realized how different, but since we returned from Drake's spine, I felt it more and more. I suppose it's not hard to imagine why. She doesn't think she belongs anymore. And that's why we need to remind her she is still one of us. To let her know that we still need her. 
now more than ever, that you still need her. But how to do that? When last we were truly close, we were but children. Of course. Do you remember the time we accompanied Father on his annual tour of the Duchy? And Jill and I broke from the procession to ride up Man's Hill? <laughs> to see the snow daisies, I remember. It was the first time Father had allowed us to join him. And when he realized you were missing, he had the entire retinue down to the pot boys combing the countryside. In the rain. A thunderstorm forced us to take refuge in a grove of oaks before we'd even made it halfway there. It was the Lord Commander who finally found us, and needless to say, he was none too pleased. Then it seems you and Jill have unfinished business. What do you say? Man's Hill. It's not that far. Oh, true. Though I suspect it is also much changed. Little in southern Rosaria remains as it was when we were children. You're saying I should go and scout the area for bandits? Uh, I'm saying we should first go and see if there are actually still any snow daisies left. <laughs> what would you do without me, Clive? I can't say my travels ever took me back to Man's Hill. I'm curious to see how it has fed. Okay, let's see. Let's see, I'm actually going to go to pick up one of those Allegiant reports first. It's because it's coming up at 11 o'clock here in Calgary, and that will be my cue to sign off for the evening. Fancy a look at the list, do you? Anything catch your eye? speak with this duke about the demands he's made of me and my fellow traders. I saw the captain just now. He wasn't wearing his uniform. Because he handed it in along with his sword. Said he'd find a better way to protect the town. Your town needs you. I need you. But the Duke would have me clapped in irons. Okay, uh, okay, actually, since it's coming up at 11 o'clock here in Calgary, this is a good place to, uh, to, to wrap things up for the evening. And I'll pick up, uh, pick up this new quest Wednesday night. So, you've been watching me play Final Fantasy XVI as part of Raid the Arcade New Game Plus. This was a stream for Extra Life, the 24-hour gaming marathon that's part of the Children's Miracle Network. Do you want to play games and heal kids? Go to www.extra-life.org. There you can sign up for free and start collecting pledges from your friends, family, and co-workers. I'll go towards your local children's hospital, and then you get to play games for 24 hours. Game day this year is November 2nd, this Saturday, but fundraising goes all year round. X Drive started over 15 years ago and has since raised over $130 million for children's hospitals across Canada and the US, and over $11 million was raised in 2023 alone, all raised by gamers just like you. I'm playing games to help raise money and awareness for the Alberta Children's Hospital here in Calgary that helps over 100,000 sick and injured children each year. I'm part of x for 12 years now, and it's a great way to have a lot of fun by doing a lot of good. And you can donate in links below or my pinned posts on Twitter, Facebook, Blue Sky, Mastodon, and Threads. In 2023, over $183,000 was raised for the Alberta Children's Hospital through Extra Life and sold out by gamers across Alberta and all over the world. You can also join the fun and help out because kids can't wait. And now by giving back, you can game on. If you're one of the first 1,000 X-Life Platinum participants to raise $2,000 US in 2024, you will unlock your very own custom X-Life controller for the console of your choice, courtesy of our friends over at Controller Chaos. These controllers will go fast, so get your fundraising going now. 
So if you'd like to learn more about Extra Life, or if you'd like to sign up yourself, go to www.extra-life.org. Uh, or once again, if you'd like to donate to my fundraiser and help the kids at the Alberta Children's Hospital, I just dropped my link in Twitch chat. Every dollar helps, every share helps. Well, thanks again for tuning in for tonight's installment of Raid the Arcade, New Game Plus. I'll be back Wednesday night at 10 p.m. Mountain Time to continue my playthrough of Final Fantasy 16. Yeah, just going to knock off all these side quests, then maybe I can get to the DLC. <laughs> Let's find out together. Uh, thanks again for tuning in, and as always, kids can't wait. Good night, everybody.